Hi, this is Dan Rourke from Distance Learning Recording Arts at MSM. I wanted to make a quick video for you today about how to make Zoom online meetings in Canvas so that way your students can go on and join the meetings from Canvas at the appropriate time. So let's get started. The preferred browser for working with Canvas is going to be Chrome. You can also use Firefox and probably the last one you'd want to use is Safari. So I'm going to launch Google Chrome. After launching Google Chrome, the website is msmnyc.instructure.com. So I can put that into the browser there and go. When asked for my credentials, I'm going to supply my usual MSM email and password. Okay, you can see here that we're in the dashboard of Canvas, and you'll see that what I have here are some classes. I have this Audio Engineering Principles, which is a fake class that I made just so I can walk you through the setup of meetings. And I have this other class, which all of you should be a part of, which is remote learning for MSM faculty. Um, you may have heard about this in our webinars or been there already. This is a class that basically just contains a lot of resources about how to use Canvas and contains a lot of video resources um, about using Zoom, including some links to Teachers College resources. We're going to keep updating this more and more information as we go on but right now it's a great resource already for just the basics of those using canvas and zoom so we're going to go back now this is the main part of the video and what it is is going to be about setting up meetings in your classes so that students can then join those meetings basically setting up online classes what you're going to want to do is if you click over here on the side if you go to courses, you should find a list of your courses that you're a part of. For me, I'm only a faculty member of this fake audio engineering principles course. So I'm going to click on that. This is going to bring me to the overall homepage of this course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down this sidebar until I find Zoom. And I'm going to find it all the way down here. I'm going to click on Zoom. That's going to bring me to the main Zoom page for this course, and it's the page where I can schedule meetings. You'll notice right now that, that it's completely empty. I have no meetings scheduled, so let's dive right in and let's schedule all my classes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to schedule a new meeting. I'm going to click on that, and when this window opens, we can fill out all the information for the meetings that I want to create. So I'm going to call Audio Engineering Principles. Here's an important part. When is this going to occur? You can click on this, which brings up the calendar. So we'll say that's going to start on Tuesday. And let's say that this is a course that's one hour long, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10.30 a.m. So I've selected 10.30 a.m. on that first start date, that Tuesday, March 24th. I'm going to select a duration of just one hour, no minutes. We'll say the time zone is Eastern time. And then I can, I can put in that it's a recurring meeting. And this is gonna save us a lot of time that way if it's a weekly class or even a bi-weekly class, I don't have to create individual meetings for every single one throughout the remainder of the semester. I can click on recurring meeting. I'm gonna say the recurrence. Right now it's daily, that would be a bit much. Let's say weekly. It's gonna ask whether you wanna repeat it every week or every two weeks or three weeks. We're gonna put that we wanna repeat it every week. It's going to occur on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create a meeting on Tuesday and Thursday at 10.30 a.m. starting on March 24th for a duration of one hour. It's going to ask for an end date. You can click and select when the end of the semester is. Now we could say May 5th, 2020. Scroll down a bit more. For some extra settings down here. So for video, I'm gonna say host, sure. Let's turn host video on. They wanna see me. Participant video, this probably depends on how big your class is. For now, I'm gonna assume this is say like a seven to 10 person class. I'll say on. Audio, we'll just use both. You can leave that. Meeting options, require meeting password. You probably don't want that on because you don't wanna to have to send all of your students a password. Um, if you're extra concerned about safety, 
or if you're doing something that's especially secretive, feel free to leave that on. Otherwise, I'm going to uncheck that. New participants on entry is an interesting one. Um, if you've been in our webinars, you might know why we'll do that, which is that if you're having, let's say, a class of 35 students, you don't want them all coming in and with their mics open, being noisy, being loud. Um, so you might mute them all. That way, as they come in and trickle into the class, they're not making noise. You can enable a waiting room, which is that before you get there, it allows them to get into a, to join the meeting and sit in a waiting room together. I'm not going to bother with that. This last setting, record the meeting automatically on the local computer. If you have local recording enabled, um, again, you can see my Zoom guide for how to set up local recordings. If you do, you can say to record automatically and record those automatically to your local folder. For now, I'm going to leave it unchecked. And that's it. At the bottom here, I'm going to hit save. And it's going to show me all the information in this meeting after I've saved it. Up here, you're going to see invite attendees. Join URL, HTTPS, and then the link. You can copy this link and email that to your students. You could right click on it and hit copy link address. And then if you have, say, a group email for all of your students, you can just copy and paste that into the group email and then they can join that at the appropriate time. The other thing is that by doing this, it creates a meeting automatically in those students' canvases. So when those students go to your course, they're going to find a Zoom section. They're going to be able to click on that and they're going to see these meetings there. So when they want to go to your class at 10.30 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, all they have to do is sign into Canvas, find your course, and go to Zoom and hit to join that meeting. But if you feel like you need a backup or if there's a student who's having trouble with that or um, someone isn't able to connect to Canvas, you can also just send them this link. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to go back to course meetings here. And you can see that we have these courses set up for the remainder of the semester, starting on March 24th and going Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, each at 10.30 a.m. You can see here that at the very first meeting, or this next upcoming meeting, which is Tuesday, March 24th at 10.30 a.m., I can choose to start that meeting. So let's say it's 10.25 a.m., and I've had my coffee and I got my notes ready and I'm ready to start class. I can come over here and click on Start. And it's going to launch Zoom. And there we go. It's launched Zoom and the meeting is ready and students will see that is launched in their Canvas and they'll be able to go to Canvas and join this meeting with you. So actually what we've done is this audio engineering class is my colleague Kevin Barassa is set up in Canvas to be a student of that class. So I'm going to flip it over to him right now where he's going to show you the student perspective right now of what this looks like in Canvas from the students. So that way you can understand as a faculty what it looks like for your students to be able to get into Canvas and join this meeting that you have created here. Okay, this is uh, Kevin Barassa from the Distance Learning and Recording Arts Department. I'm playing the part of the student here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do because it's... Uh, 10 a.m. Ignore what the clock says here. I am going to navigate to msmnycinstructure.com. msmnyc.instructure.com. Um, I'm just going to hit enter, and if you enter your usual credentials, uh, it'll pop up there. I've already uh, logged in, so it remembers mine, and here I am at my dashboard. Um, and the class I'm taking this morning is Audio Engineer Principles. So I, I click on this dashboard here. Um, you can see there's no messages here, but because uh, we're going to do this class via Zoom, if on the side here I scroll down until I find Zoom, I click on Zoom, and I can see here's a whole host of meetings right here, um, all of my classes until the end of the, the month, until the end of April anyways. Um, so this one right here, 10.30 a.m., Tuesday, March 24th, which is uh, today. Ignore what you see up here. I'm going to hit join. Uh, the meeting automatically launches me into Zoom. It'll ask me a few quick questions to make sure things look the way I want them to. I hit join with video. I hit join with computer audio. 
And there's my professor, Professor Dan. All right, we're now flipping back around to my side. Hey, Kevin, so you can see that Kevin is connected here. And so now that my student has connected to the course, we would be able to begin this course. Um, and for information about running coursework in Zoom, you can look to our other video using Basics of Zoom for classwork.